very big milestone that we are going to follow live tomorrow, the beginning of what we call round three of the Large Hadron Collider. This is the beginning of a new season of physics into uncharted territory because for the first time the LHC will provide collisions with stable beams at the unprecedented energy of 13.6 tera electron volts to the four LHC experiments and to some more smaller LHC experiments. For now we are connected with the four control room of the large LHC experiments who are getting ready for these new seasons of data taking and we can uh, talk to them and see how preparations are going for the big day tomorrow. Let's start our uh, tour with uh, the control room of, let's see, is Atlas ready? So we start from point one. No, we are starting with CMS at point five, yes. interaction point of the LHC. I am with Gail and uh, some of her colleagues. So are you excited, Gail? Mm. Yeah, so there's a lot of excitement here, you can see behind me. So CMS is uh, essentially is ready to welcome the, the collision at high energy tomorrow. Uh, we worked hard over the last few weeks, a uh, few months and even a few years uh, to reach this step. And uh, I believe it's going to be a great success. We'll hold, uh, we'll hope for that. And it's going to be a new era for physics. So yeah, everybody is ready and we are eagerly waiting for that day. Yes. Thank you, Gal, and thanks everybody around you. And see you tomorrow for more. Sure. Thanks. So I think uh, we can uh, go around uh, the ring and see at next interaction point, find the Alice experiment at interaction point number two. Hello, Roberto. Ciao, How Paola. is the ambiance in the control uh, room of uh, Alice? But it's very exciting. It's a really a big challenge now for Alice with new detectors, new data acquisition systems, and everybody is really working hard for getting the best out of it tomorrow when this table will be declared yeah. again. You're basically um, running a new, um, an, like a renewed, completely renewed detector, exactly. Alice, right? Brand, brand new. A brand new detector, brand new energies. Uh, uh, uncharted territory. Thank you uh, for connecting with us and tomorrow you'll tell us more. We continue our tour to go and now visit the LHCB detector. I've seen uh, Yasmin in the LHCB control room, the LHCB, uh, the LHC beauty detector. Hi, Yasmin. Hi, hi. So, so how, how did you get ready for this event? <laughs> how did we get ready for this event? You mean, if you're talking about the collisions, you see we have all the people here which are working in the different stations for all the different detectors. Behind me is the run control. And you can see that everyone looks maybe a little bit tired, but is working really hard to be as good as we can. Is it correct that we are entering uncharted territory for, uh, for particle physics, Yasmin? Yes, absolutely. Our detector is almost entirely changed. The, the tracking, the, uh, the, the, the PID, there are so many things. The way we process the data is entirely different. So for us, it's really a grand new start. Thank you, Yasmin. And stay with us tomorrow. Uh, tomorrow at 4 p.m. Central European Summertime, we will start a live commenting through all the stages that it takes uh, from uh, injecting the first beams into the LHC up to collisions at high energy at the four experiments. And we will talk to the experiments and we will broadcast this live on CERN social media channel, uh, Twitter, uh, LinkedIn and Facebook. And you can ask uh, all your questions uh, for the physicists, but also for our top management, the CERN Director General and Director for Accelerators will be there uh, with the representative of the experiments and with knowledge transfer, how uh, all this, what it means for our daily life. You can ask all these questions and our dream social media team will moderate the questions. And after the live at 5 p.m. Central European Summer Time, we will answer your questions. The live will be in five languages. Uh, questions will be answered uh, just in English, but you can send them in your own language. And I see Atlas, uh, which was missing from the tour of the experiment. I see Katarina back in the control center. It's Hi a there. busy day today, Katarina. <laughs> it's a super busy day today, but we're happy to be here with you. And we're really looking forward to the start of data taking tomorrow. Fantastic. Uh, how long did it take to get to this moment? I mean, when do you want to start counting? You could say that it took from the early 90s when the LHC was constructed, um, or at least envisioned, and the beginning of um, all of the wonderful experiments when we were starting to design. It's, this moment has been a long time in the, in, in the making because this is a world record energy that we've never achieved before. So, 
Exactly, but it's in particular, uh, what I meant is that you've, you've been two and a half years uh, oh, uh, sure. without uh, data coming uh, uh, to Atlas, and now, uh, now it's starting again at the renewed energy and you're going to new territory for particle physics. <laughs> Indeed, we've had the, sh the long shutdown too that uh, began in 2019 where we were upgrading the experiment and readying it for this new era of data taking, installing brand new detectors. So yeah, that, that in particular has been, been that's, really exciting. That's why we're all excited and uh, uh, please don't leave us tomorrow, stay us with the live tomorrow. Uh, I'm sure there will be lots of questions for you. We are now going to uh, another uh, control center, uh, the data center of CERN, where all the data, uh, once they've been processed uh, initially oh. <laughs> from the four experiments, they get to you before getting to the world. Hello. Hello from the CERN data center. So <laughs> as you can see, we are really excited. We are ready for the data, data taking to start tomorrow. Over the past three years, we have worked on our infrastructure. We improved storage, we improved computing. Uh, we made sure that the d data will be processed really rapidly uh, at, at the data center and distributed worldwide through the other sites around the world for the uh, worldwide LHC computing grid. So it is, it is a really great, great pleasure. We are looking forward to distribute those exabytes of data around the world. So have and you heard, it's exabytes really excited. of data. Exabytes of, of data, we are really excited for that. So the, this means so when we increase the energy of collisions, the, get, the experiments get more data, and this is what they want to do, new physics. And uh, the data center has to absorb all that before, before sending everything to the entire planet uh, with your, all the connected uh, data center connected to the grid, the LHC computing grid to process all this, right? Exactly. So uh, we are really re very excited. We are ready. So IT, go. OK, so uh, I say go, uh, everybody. Uh, don't miss this tomorrow. 4 PM, Central European summertime. We start the live. We'll go through all the stages that take us to stable beams, the conditions for collisions to go safely into the four detectors. The detectors will switch on. The data will arrive. And then we have a Q&A session with the CERN Director General, uh, some of the directors and the representatives of all the experiments. So we're looking forward to your questions uh, and see you tomorrow. The LHC Run 3 is starting up now. Accelerator mode proton physics. It is a very exciting moment because it really we have now three years of, uh, of technical stop. Beam mode ramp. There will be new detectors, new ways to read out all the data. As you may know, the LHCB detector has had many changes. A lot of pieces have been changed, and we're really looking forward to see the performances of this new shiny detector and also all of the physics performances. The priority for Alice in Run 3 um, is the study of uh, the collision of heavy nuclei, uh, the lead nuclei. LHC experiments plan to collect more data during LHC Run 3 than they did in the first two runs combined. Most physicists expect that there should be some new particles beyond the standard model. Be most flat top. Be most stable beams. If there is new physics out there, we'll find it. <laughs> this is a good question. <laughs>